everybody. It's later in the evening than I'd planned. But I did want to catch the energy of this new moon and um, bring that into focus with the roses. It's another powerful, powerful pulse point on our journey this year and really is bringing us into this invitation of moving forward and coming deeper into connection with our true self. It's also the festival of Diwali. <laughs> Hi Elaine. Oh, see there was benefit in me coming on late, <laughs> coming on late uh, this evening. I've managed to catch people that actually probably wouldn't have been around earlier evening or managed to catch me. So it's the festival of Diwali, the festival of lights on this new moon. And the festival of lights um, is very much connected to the lighting or the lightness of the chakras in the body. So we can see on lots of different levels the importance of this time. I have found myself in this first 11 days of November very much on an inner journey and I know many others have found themselves in this place too. It's where we are in the autumn time here and the leaves are effortlessly being released from the tree and there is a deep calling to allow what is completed to be composted. What are we letting go of? What is the calling to travel lighter and as light as we move into this festival of Diwali? What is it that has now done its course that actually has given, its all, given us all of its juice? And it is time to allow what needs to be released, to be released. When we travel lighter in ourselves, of course what it does is it reveals more of our true self, more of the true essence of who we are and allows for the percolation, the movement to the surface of that real sense of what we are here for now. At this, uh, incredible point in our human journey where we are facing and having to deal with aspects of our life here that we wouldn't have even countenanced perhaps even just a few short months ago. It is um, quite uh, an extraordinary time to be here on the earth. So thank you all for joining. I can see that there's quite a few more that have joined um, to, and I don't intend to make it a long reading this evening. Um, it's getting late here in the UK and it was just really to be in the energy of this new moon and what it can offer us as insight, as a um, another guide on our own passage, our own journey. What is this next piece of sacred homecoming that you're being called to? What is another aspect of perhaps um, the illusion that we set up around ourselves of what is who we are and what we're here for? And is there another aspect of that that wants peeling away? The roses are fascinating in so much that the rose bloom opens to her centre, right? And each petal 
of the blooming of the rose, the full blooming of the rose, brings us into a deeper connection with that golden heart at the center of the rose. And so it is for ourselves when we turn the light within, when we turn in and deal with um, our own personal story or what might have come up for us for clearing or for releasing or even acknowledging as part of our particular journey. Um, this is a potent, potent time for us to uh, release and allow that next petal to open to reveal something else. Hi, Catherine. Thank you and new moon blessings to you too. This is, yeah, just an incredible time. So what has have the roses got to offer us as insight in this new moon energy? What can they bring us as insight that will help us, that will bring a salve to the heart? I don't believe that there is anybody incarnate at this point that isn't at some level traumatized by what we're seeing revealed in our outer landscape and ultimately that must bring us back in to reflect on our own lives and the purpose of um, this time that we have here with family and loved ones and to bring the gifts that we have to the earth and to those that we journey with. So let's see what the roses have got to offer us as their wisdom in this new moon. So the first rose that's come forward is Rose Bagua 6. Sorry, Rose Bagua 8. I'll put my glasses on. Rose Bagua 8. And this rose in the in the bagua which is a feng shui term box of nine squares uh, with that the the sort of this the center being for me the heart when i look through the lens of the heart what are these different aspects of my life that i'm bring uh, i'm called to bring attention to and this rose sits in the bottom left hand corner of the rose bagua and she is all about wisdom, contemplation and knowledge. And for me, that is all about know thyself and to thine own self be true. This is a, a, a calling to dive deep into the essence of ourselves. This rose, you can see, you know, it's like she's wanting to open and expand, but there's another aspect of her that is calling deep, deep within so the diagonal across this bagua is relationships, is the, is the corner of relationships. So when we come into this place where we dive deep, as well as, you know, wanting to open and expand, when we come home to ourselves, when we come into owning our, our truth, what is, what is then brought into play is our relationships in the world. Every time there is another insight, every time we polish the diamond of the heart, there is a different reflection of our own soul essence that goes out in the world. And we've spoken of this before, that the heart is our attractor factor. The heart is what attracts to us, the spectrum of vibration on the heart, is what attracts to us the people and the experiences and the opportunities that will bring us into a deeper and deeper connection with the authenticity of who we really are. So I've got some different lighting this evening and I'm just noticing that the colouring on the rose is, is changing as I'm moving the rose. So I invite you in this new moon to connect in with this rose, bring her in on your higher heart and just ask her if she has any wisdom for you at this time. Does she have any deep insights into the, your own connection, your deeper connection with self? Perhaps she's just reminding you to take a breath.
and bring a deep sense of honouring for your journey this far, for what you have worked through in this last year, for what is currently something that you're working with. She asks us to dive deep, not to stay on the surface of our lives, but to come deeply within, to connect within, and from that place, expand and step forward. So just allow her healing energy to sit with you on the heart this evening as our first rose. Let's see what, what else might want to come forward as insight for this new moon, this new beginning. What aspect of your journey is complete? What aspect of your story is complete? What are you wishing to let go of, just like the leaves on the trees, to be composted? For Mother Earth to transmute it, to bring it back to love. Or calls to come back to love. So let's see what the roses have got to offer us as our second insight. <laughs> Honestly, heart star one. And heart star one is the pink ray of love. And so she calls us to that honouring of this aspect of ourselves. This heart star one, this pink ray of love, weaves and dances with the blue ray of power. And from that, that weave, that sacred weave of the pink and the blue, what of course is made is violet. And you'll see on this rose there is tinges of violet that come up on the edge of the inner petals. And the violet ray, of course, connected to Saint Germain. As this moves through the body, it transmutes. It transmutes all of the more dense negative emotions and will transform them to gold. And this is the beauty of working with the roses and the heart star roses in particular. And as I say, this is the pink ray of love. She is calling us to bring our attention into that place of receiving and giving, the in-breath and the out-breath. She's calling us really into a deeper, deeper connection with that sense of love and deep inner peace so that love it doesn't become a verb it is a being it is a state of being it is uh, it is our way of being in the world and what we do in everything that we do is that we take love in action so this rose is a beautiful energy for us to look at on this new moon what would love have me say be or do now? What is calling for me in this next phase of my journey? This is just a stunning, stunning energy. This is a rose called Sweet Surrender, actually. And she's a rose that called me in the United Nations Rose Garden in New York. And interestingly, there is a peace bell in the uh, rose garden and the peace bell has got roses on it. It's um, a really stunning, stunning bell, beautiful sound and this rose was sitting not far from the peace bell and she winked and called me over to, to photograph her. So again I invite you to put your hand on a higher heart and to just breathe in this pink ray of love. And just breathe out anything that is, that is not frequencing to that. Just releasing these old stories and this old energy on this new moon. Allowing the shift, allowing the change. 
and just allowing this pink ray of love in the higher heart to just fill up the chalice of the heart. She's so beautiful to work with. And let's see what our third rose is for this particular new moon rose reading. So we're asking for the third rose that can give us insight for this new moon. And we have Rose Angel 4. Rose Angel 4 is a rose called the Pilgrim. And the Rose Angels are 11 roses that are both the Transformer and the Salve for the five wounds to love, the five heart wounds of abandonment, betrayal, denial, judgment, and separation. And this rose sits on the third eye and she is the transformer for the wound of judgment, where we judge ourselves, we judge our situation, we judge what we have or what we don't have. Uh, we can judge what's going on in the world right now. Um, in fact, the calling and the salve with all of this is forgiveness calling us deep, deep within ourselves to find forgiveness for ourselves, if appropriate, but also forgiveness for all of those that are struggling at this time with their basic connection to humanity and what is happening around the world, how people are being mistreated around the world. It is quite shocking. And the greatest thing that we can do is to find forgiveness within ourselves um, for others. So we have three powerful, powerful roses to work with for this particular new moon reading. And with Rose Angel 4, I just invite you to put your hand on your higher heart, connect in with this rose and allow her to offer you the salve of forgiveness if there is anywhere within yourself where you are still judging yourself. And just feel that salve of forgiveness. Perhaps that you have um, others in your family or in connection that you know there is still a calling to forgive for something, some wrongdoing. And this is a time that we must let these things go. We must travel light as light in order to be the best version of ourselves here at this particular time. And as I say, this rose is called the Pilgrim. And I do think that for many of us, this time and this particular piece of our journey is really a pilgrimage to love. It is a journey all the time to, to keep coming back to love, keep coming back to the heart. And of course, this is really what this reading is about. This reading is calling us through these three roses to keep coming home, keep coming home to ourselves, keep coming back to love as the primary emotion, the primary focus. So we have Rose Bagua 8, who's saying, come deep within. Know thyself until thy known self be true. And from there, all relations come into their right alignment. Heart star one, the pink ray of love. Just even just 
bringing attention to that pink ray of love and allowing her to settle into your heart field is just brings peace and rose angel four we find that we cannot judge another for we've not walked in their shoes we can use our discernment as to what is um, appropriate behavior but we can't judge another for everyone has a story everyone has a journey everyone has a history so finding places of forgiveness allows for us to release any contraction on the body that is ready to release at this time. So, three very interesting roses to be working with in this new moon energy. And the beautiful crystal bowls just allow the energy of the sound to be received on the heart with these beautiful roses. angel for forgiveness forgive them for they know not what they do wishing you a happy Diwali festival of lights and yeah working with the power of this new moon each of the new moons and full moons bring us a different gift. So just take time to tune in and feel into what is calling to be released for you. It's a beautiful opportunity for a new beginning as we move through these times. Thank you for tuning in and um, thank you. Rosie Blessings.